Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm an agronomist from K-State and today we're gonna to talk about corn germination and emergence. So I don't know if you have a favorite recipe, but there's certain ingredients that you have to have to make your favorite recipe. I really like chocolate chip cookies and I have to have all the right things to make my chocolate chip cookies. When we're talking about corn germination, there are three main ingredients that we need to have for that corn seed to germinate successfully. The first is moisture, the second is oxygen, and the third is warmth. So if we're thinking about moisture, the first step of the germination process is water going into the seed. It's a process called imbibing. The corn is imbibing the, the water, and it has to take in 30% of its weight in water. And if you were to compare that to humans, if you weigh 100 pounds, that would be like you drinking three and a half gallons of water. So it takes in a lot of water to start that process. When that water comes into the seed, that starts all the chemical reactions that are happening inside that seed for the germination process to work. And in order for those chemical reactions to happen, oxygen has to be present so that the corn seed can respire. That's the process of those chemical reactions happening. If we have oxygen, we have water, but there's a really important ingredient we haven't talked about yet, and that's warmth. So corn has a base temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that it needs to be at least 50 degrees for that corn plant to grow and develop. So that's the same for a corn seed too. If you put a corn seed in the soil and the soil temperature is not 50 degrees, your corn plant will not be able to germinate. It could actually rot in the soil if it doesn't have the warmth it needs to really get going. And germination, when we're talking about soil temperature is really important for farmers because you wanna make sure that your soil temperature is evenly, uh, consistently between 50 and 55 degrees before you put your corn seeds in the ground to make sure that they all come up at the same time. So we talked about germination, which is the process of the uh, embryo exiting the seed. So the radical is the first part that comes out of the seed and it grows down and becomes the root. The coleoptile grows out of the embryo side of the seed and grows up, and that's the first thing we see. Emergence is the process of that plant coming up above the ground where we can see it. So germination is the embryo exiting the seed, and emergence would be when that plant comes above the ground where we can see it. And those are the two steps of germination and emergence for corn.